Hi, I'm Jamie from Synaptic and today we're going to run through how to send and receive emails on your Synaptic device. Emails can be accessed from the first main menu screen and is the fourth option down. Simply select emails by pressing it or move your finger up or down the screen until you hear the emails menu announced and release. For more information about navigating Synaptic, check out our video on how to navigate Synaptic. To compose a new email, select the Compose New Email option. From here, the email can be addressed. The first option on this menu screen is the Type Address option, where a person's email address can be manually typed. For more information about how to insert text, check out our video on how to use the keyboard and voice dictation in Synaptic. The next option on this menu is the address book option, where someone can be emailed from your address book. The final option is the multiple option, where multiple people can be emailed from your address book. Once the email has been addressed, the email subject can be entered. To confirm this, select the done button in the bottom left hand corner of the device. Next, the main body of the email can be entered and confirmed by pressing the send button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Next, the send email screen will appear with the option yes to send, no to cancel, drafts to save for later and attachments where different attachments can be added such as photos, notes and memos. Going back to the main email menu, the next option is the fetch new emails option. Once pressed, any new emails will be downloaded and synchronized. This can be made automatic in the email settings by turning on auto fetch. The next option on the main email menu is the inbox option, which displays a list of all email messages received. If they are new and unread, the word new is shown by the side of the email message. The newest emails are at the top of the list. When you move your finger over each email, the sender, date and time the email was sent, and the email itself is spoken out. This is another example email. Kind regards, Adrian. After selecting a particular email, the email message menu is displayed. The first option on this menu is the read email option, which displays the full message on the screen. If the message is too long to fit on one page, it is split over multiple pages. Use the next and previous buttons to move between pages. Use the read all button in the top right of the screen to read all pages of the text in one go. The size of the message texts varies with zoom level, but can be adjusted independently using the text size option in the settings menu. This will be covered in a later video on how to customize Synaptic in line with your own preferences. The next option on the email message menu is the conversation option where the entire email conversation can be read aloud. Other menu options on the email message menu allow you to reply, delete, forward, save, print or view any files attached to the email. Going back to the main email menu, next there is the inbox unread option which only displays unread emails. On the next page of the email menu, you can view sent emails, saved emails, draft emails, and failed emails. On the last page of the email menu is the delete emails option, where the emails can be deleted. Once this option is selected, you will be able to select where to delete your emails from, including inbox, sent, saved, failed, and draft. Finally, on the last page of the email menu is the email settings option. This is where you go to configure Synaptic with your email address and password. So today we've run through how to make and receive emails from your Synaptic device. Hopefully you are now a bit more familiar with your new Synaptic phone or tablet. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any content suggestions, please leave a comment below. For more information, call us on 0191 
9097909 or visit our website at www.synaptic.com. Thank you.